Hey there, Michelle with Crafty Servings. I'm so excited to be back as part of this far, Fall at the Farm event. So I wanna thank Hildy, Renee, and Labriska for inviting me back. And I mean, the presenters in here have been amazing. I hope you all have been watching them because they've been so much fun. I've learned, I've learned so much from them all the time. So make sure you come on and say hi. Uh, let me know if you're out there. Let me know if you're a newbie. I'm excited to see newbies. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started because we have a certain amount of time, you know? And I think that's why I get nervous in these is because I'm always nervous I'm gonna go over. Hi Kendra, hi Stacy. So we're making a cute snow, a uh, scarecrow today, not a snowman, a scarecrow today. We're gonna be using one of these stands now this is a christmas you get this at christmas time at hobby lobby they're already out there 40 percent off they've been out there for a long time i've had leftovers from last year hi donna hello lois um so you get this at hobby lobby and we're also using some of these jumbo craft sticks okay you can also get them at hobby lobby you could use small the regular popsicle sticks too i'm using these because it's what i have Okay, and I went in ahead and prepped just a little bit. Okay, so paint it all black. Some of this up here you're not gonna see when we're done, and you're not gonna see most of this, but I want black because I need that as part of a background just in case you see through some of the popsicle sticks. Hi, Cindy, hi, Kathy. Well, Stacy, I've been around. I, you know, Facebook has been a little bit of wonky lately. I hear it's it doesn't always show. So, but we try and play by their games, and and I hope if you like, go check your notifications again if you, um, if you haven't been getting notified. And I've got my timer here, and I forgot to set. So you guys keep me appraised. All right, so we painted this all black, and I went ahead and painted the six popsicle sticks black. All right, and we're gonna have this as part of the face. So I'm just gonna, and I think because it's easier for me, um, I'm not going to glue them on right away. I'm gonna glue them on after we're done painting on them. We're gonna make them a little, little bit of farmhouse look. So the one thing that when, if you do that is, um, you'll see after I get the white on, but because this stand, I can show you better on here, because this stand sticks up, the two middle ones are gonna be higher than the rest. So I just sort of gauge it, and they're gonna be laying on like that, if you can see. So that's how I'm gonna lay my popsicle sticks out too on here, and we're just gonna go ahead and paint them. So that means the middle two are higher than the others. But, oh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and paint white on them. Let me get my paint, so I'm just using the warm white deco art. Any white will do. And I'm using one of the chippy brushes. You can use that. They're scruffy brushes. Whatever works. I don't want the black to be completely covered. This is where, it, to me, gets the sort of farmhouse look. Hi, Ava. Hi, Grace. All right. So all I'm doing is dabbing the scruffy brush in. And I'm just going to do the long streaks. Now, I'm going to get a lot of white on there, though. Okay, um, we do want a lot of white because we're gonna be painting on top of here yet. So, like I said, let me know if you're newbies out there or oldies. I will uh, do a drawing. Um, I'll probably draw tomorrow after some of the replays get a chance to, but for all those that sprinkle me on their pages, you'll be entered to win. Let me show you what you're gonna win. Isn't it cute? I'm a creator with Magnolia, so I created that with that. So that's gonna be, and I'll also do some happy mail at the end here. I do random act of kindness drawings, and if um, at the end I scroll names, and I, I'll have you private message me, and I'll send you happy mail, and I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone, okay? So then there's two blessings on it. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Paulette. I'll just go through. Now I know we got time constraints, so I'm just gonna keep on going. If I'm not catching comments, I'll try and get back. Thank you for passing me on, Julie and Stacy. I appreciate it. Um, if you wanna get notified, I also put my text message above. Um, 
my text number that you can also just send me a text, say hi or join or something. And I can get you text before. Thank you, Debbie, for passing it on. I appreciate it. So when all that passing it on helps us to go farther. So we really appreciate that. That's why we want to give back to you too. Hi, Yvonne, how are you? Hi, Paula and Kathy. So I hope you like scarecrows. I think this one is adorable. I'm thinking a little outside of the box on how to make the hat. Um, I like doing things a little bit different sometimes, you know, because I don't have everything that somehow, I don't cut a lot of wood, I'm, I'm, I would love to, but then I have to figure out what I can do to cut wood. All right, so these are part of the faces. I'm gonna let them dry. That's all the painting we have on here other than when we're gonna paint on the face. And we're gonna go ahead and start the hat. So I'm gonna go in a little bit of segments here. Hi, Joan. Oh, you're at a farmer's market. Awesome, well, that's a good place to be when you're watching this. All right, we're gonna get that out of the way. Okay, next, acorns from Dollar Tree. This is gonna be our hat. And as long as it doesn't break apart when I'm cutting it, I cut one already and it worked. I'm just using a scissor. Don't use fabric scissor on it, but we're gonna cut off this top edge. We don't need that. This one's tougher than my last one. All right, we don't need that. We're gonna cut across here and that's gonna give us our brim. Now, it's a little bit hard to do, but it, it, it'll it work. And if it doesn't come out completely exactly normal or exact, it's okay. I'm just gonna keep cutting it in. If you have something else that can cut it, certainly do that. All right, I'm almost through. Try and bring this together a little bit. Almost there. So it's a little difficult. If you have, like I said, if you have something a better tool to cut, but that's what I have. All right, this is the brim of the hat. We're gonna go ahead and just sand that a little bit just to get those edges off. Welcome. Sherry, thanks so much for commenting back to the newbies. I appreciate you. Hi, Shauna. I'm glad you're here from Canada. Hello, Brandy. Hi, Nelda. All right, so I can show you. Um, this is going to be the top of the hat. So it's okay that it's rough like that, all right? And this is going to be our brim. Can you see the hat? Doesn't that work out awesome? So we're gonna go ahead and start painting this. We'll get some of this sanding away from here. Kathy, thanks for welcoming. I have some really great oldies, I call them, um, and I love my newbies, so thank you so much for, and they always are talking back with you guys, have questions, I really appreciate it. All right, the colors we're using for the hat are um, a foliage green. I like deco art, but I mean, I you can use any color. Foliage green and Hauser medium green. It's what I have, so that's what we're using. Thank you, Patricia, for passing me on. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks, Maureen. Yeah, you can really see it come together. Um, you know, especially when I, I mean, it's it's just it makes a cute hat. It will make a cute hat. So, all right, and I'm just gonna use a big brush to make this quick, all right? We're gonna keep an eye on the time because we all know, okay, I don't need to, well, yeah, I do need to do the top of this too. I'm not gonna do the back of it. Um, you're not gonna see the back, depending upon where you have it displayed, but you will see the sides. I probably, I could cut off this little tip. I may end up doing that. But for right now, we'll leave it on. And then just paint. You, like, 
I'm a sloppy painter. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna put it right on here. So use any color, and you know what? I'm using green. You can use any color you want that will go in your decor. It definitely, it does not have to be green. But I love this color green, and I think it'll look awesome. Thanks, Yvonne. It, it works. I, I don't cut wood. I want to, and, and my plan would be to do it sometime, but I don't. So I have to try and make do with what I get. So this acorn was from Dollar Tree. So if you have any acorns laying around, that's what you use. And I'm just going to do one coat. I think that'll be plenty. So I was a little nervous this morning because we had thunderstorms going through. Right now it's just rain. And I was so afraid our internet or our power was going to go down. Um, it's still, it's raining now. But we had like the hardest rain for, oh gosh, probably a half an hour. I mean, there was just like huge puddles in people's yards around here. So I was a little nervous. So um, I hope I don't get booted. That's why I keep going. I wish I could have bought some of these acorns. Yeah, Deborah, it works so good. And putting it together with this, so popsicle sticks and the, um, the stand, those were Hobby Lobby, but you can get popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. I know you can. And I should have done the edges of this. I'm just gonna do that quick. It'll get a little messy. Hi, Sandy. Yeah, thanks. Laura, I do love this color. Okay, you do want to get the edges too. I should have done that first. Because you'll see the edges. Definitely you gotta do them. Alright, looks good. And then we'll just finish touching up this front that I have my mitts on. All right, so that's all we have to do for painting on that right now. We're gonna just, we're gonna highlight it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dry this and we'll finish doing a little of this. I've got my noisy dryer out just cause it dries fast, but I'm sorry, this is gonna be noisy. Oh, Christy, you know, it's very hit and miss at my store. Very, very hit and miss. Hi, Danette, how are you? I loved your project. You all, if you have not been following everybody on here or watching, go back and watch replays out on the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. Go check them out. There were amazing people yesterday and there's already been a couple today. They're just, just awesome crafts. It was raining on the off So, Kathy, I think you're Wisconsin, too, right? So, I'm from Wisconsin, if you don't know. My husband has all the woodworking saws and cut out stuff, but I'm afraid to use them. And see, I, and my husband doesn't really do that, so I'm left doing it like this. I do have a scroll saw um, that I don't use much. It's so old. And I'm making a scarecrow. Thank you, Stacy. I did do that on a live. It was the leaves were a garland and I added just a little bit of embellishment in between. Okay, so now I'm just gonna highlight a little bit just to make the hat stand out. And now this is where I'm using that Hauser medium green. I don't really see that. And I'll just show you the highlighting. I'm not perfect at it. It's, you do what you do. Keep going. So I like using uh, angle brush. You can use a straight brush too. I just get it wet and then I dab off most of it. And when you, you just dab the corner in and then spread it a little bit. And you just run it across the sides and it just adds a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It adds a little bit. If the brush is too dry, it's not gonna spread good. So then just add a little bit of water. If the brush is overly wet, it'll sort of puddle up and the color won't be as good. But you can fix that by just going over it again, maybe drying a little of that up. 
Um, it's not hard to highlight. You just practice it a little bit. And like I said, I am not perfect at it, but I, I think it just adds a little something to it. Do you see my lights flashing too? <laughs> we'll see how we do. Okay, and I do have to do the top two because the top is what's showing. I really didn't need to do much down there. And I'm just doing simple painting on this. Like I said, just straight paint. And you can see the highlights. And that just is going to make it stand out. We're going to do it on this half brim too. Thanks all for... Commenting like I said, I've, I've got quite a bit here to get done. I did prep a little, but that's why I'm going to keep going. I appreciate y'all commenting and helping out, but I will go back and try and reply to so many comments after. We wouldn't have been disappointed if we have some rain when it passed over. Oh, I'll bet, Ray. Um, there's a lot of places that want the rain, and I'm not complaining about the rain. I just was nervous during this because I don't want to lose my internet because I would lose all you. <laughs> That was my only thing. All right, and we just highlighted. You'll see it a little bit more. Okay, so that's the highlight on there. Now I'm just going to take a little brush. Um, let me just grab a little brush. And we're just going to make um, some lines. Now I do think I, I'm going to cut this bottom off because we're not going to need it. And you're not going to see it. Um, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right, yeah. And I'm gonna use now, I'm just gonna use some Georgia clay. So Georgia clay, I'm gonna use some burnt umber. And these are to me, folly colors. And we're gonna use a little bit of, this is a bright yellow, a golden yellow. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in my tray. Can you all see? I can scoot you down a little. some of the burnt umber and you don't need much I just squirted a bunch in here hi Mary you know Sheila we drove back from Florida a couple weeks ago it rained almost every state up through Kentucky um, it, it was just raining so all right let me just find okay I have my little brush here and all I'm gonna do is just make rough lines again it doesn't have to be perfect just some rough lines to make it look just a little bit of interest in it. If you want, um, if you're nervous about using brush, use paint markers or even magic markers, you know, if you have the different colors. All right, so I'm just doing that. Now that's the top, so I'm gonna do the bottom. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's the top. I'm gonna do the bottom in lines going the opposite way. So, let me make sure I'm doing it the opposite way. Yeah, I am. I don't want it to look exactly the same. And I'm not perfect. See, you don't, it, nobody's perfect. So you just, you just go with it. All right, so I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm going to dip in that umber. And I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to around again it's not perfect coverage I just want a little bit of color just to add a little fun anybody can do this well welcome Regina from Kentucky All right, let's do this one I feel like I'm doing it almost the same direction but I'm not all right so we just added that little bit there now we're going to add some yellow dots just to make it look a little cute too. Okay, so to do the dots, I use the back of my um, paintbrush. And I'm just going to do three dots in different places right next to each other. And it just adds that little bit of cuteness. The lighting in here is not great today because of the cloudiness we got, but we got it the best we can. Just look like a little bit of fun on here and you can go off the edge and just do a couple like off on an edge 
I don't think you'll even see that one. Let's do another. Okay, just add that little bit of cuteness. I feel like I need one off the edge up here. Okay, and we're gonna do the same on here. Now, I am a creator with Magnolia Design, so if I have time, I'm gonna add a little bit of a stencil on that hat because it just adds a little cuteness. It's something that you don't need to do, um, but it adds cuteness. I mean, for me, I just like doing the stenciling because it really does add that. If you're interested in all of Magnolia stencils, you know, just send me a message or hashtag stencil down there. All right, let's get, we're gonna get this out of the way now. And we're gonna start doing the face. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. Okay, let's get these back here. Just wanna make sure these are good and dry. Sorry again for the loud. I'm close, Francis. Oh, thank you, Sherry, for posting them. Most of these are dry, so I should be good. Um, again, so these were popsicle sticks. These are the jumbo ones. You could use regular ones too. So these are my drier ones. I'm gonna put them to the middle because that's where most of the face is gonna be. And see how I have these lined up on here? It's just gonna, it's gonna be easy for me to paint on it. You know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and glue these on just so that you can see why why I'm doing that. We've got the stand. I went ahead and painted this, and it it's raised up here. So when you lay this on here, these are going to be higher than the other ones. And so I've got this Gorilla Glue wood glue that just adds it. It's if I use the hot glue, I'm afraid it's gonna do real fast on me. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on and then maybe just a dab of the hot glue just to do the quick stick. Um, I should also mention, make sure you stick on because um, crafting with Denise is on right after me. So if you're on the Simple Treasures um, crafting circle page you're gonna see her right after otherwise you know go join that page so you watch everybody all right can I just you don't have to use this gorilla glue the um, wood glue but like I said I like it maybe for it's not as quick of a stick as the hot glue and I'm just adding a little hot glue just to give a little stick, but then I'll be able to shift it a little bit. But once um, this is dry, this wig glue is really, really good. So let's, that's why I'm putting it on with that first and then just little dabs. Like I, said, I wanna be able to shift it if I put it on a little bit crooked. So then I only have a little hot glue to do it on. Well, welcome Beth, I hear that see there's a welcome for you. Keeping on going so I get this done. I thought I was doing so well with doing this ahead of time. I'm gonna do this. You know what? I'm just doing this because we're gonna we're gonna keep going so that I get done. I'm gonna show you the painting up of the face and then I'll show you the decorating. Um, one more popsicle stick. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of these same colors. I'm also gonna throw in, this is an apricot, it's a little bit lighter orange. And we're gonna do the nose. If you get nervous again about painting, you can go ahead and use, um, I'm just gonna get this brush off. You can go ahead and use um, markers. You certainly can do that. And I'm just gonna draw a triangle here. Or you can base coat it if you want. And I'm gonna do sort of a funky triangle. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like that. 
funky triangle. Then I'm gonna use the back of a brush and we're gonna add some black here. And we're gonna do more highlighting after, but I wanna make sure I get all this done and start putting together so that we make sure. Um, first, before I do the black, let's do, I like using um, blush. Thanks for all the hearts. I like using blush for cheeks. So all I'm gonna do is, I've got a brush. You can also use a makeup brush to do it. But just brush on the cheeks. Add some cute on there. Okay, and let's do the, the eyes. So I'm just gonna use the back again. If you wanna use a marker, go ahead and do it. And I'm gonna start with two dots in the middle. And again, I'm gonna use the whole back and I'm just gonna draw in. It's a little bit easier way of doing it if you're not used to using a brush. And they don't have to be perfect. A scarecrow is sort of funny looking. So I'm going to just, just move it around a little. So I was just moving that paint around a little. And we've got that cute there. Um, now I'm just going to grab a little brush. And we're going to do a mouth on it. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect mouth. I'm just going to start on the bottom here. Wave it a little. And bring it up in and it is not gonna match trust me it won't match thanks Linda wave it a little and bring it up and then I like just doing the little lines here okay now we're gonna do another coat of this orange just to make it a little darker Let's just dry it up quick. Take time. I think we'll be doing good. The stand is from Hobby Lobby in the Christmas department. And I painted it black. Thanks, Terry. All right. And normally I would add like more highlights in. Let's just do a little bit of highlighting. Um, I want to keep going on this. Let's just do, we'll do a little bit of the white to add in by the eyes. Just add a little dot there, a little dot there. We'll also add some eyebrows on them. Okay, it's nothing fancy. And then I am gonna just do little lines just to look like it's a sewed on nose. All right. So that's just a fun face to do, fun, quick, simple. Now, I, I would do more highlighting normally, but because I'm a little in a hurry, I want to keep going on it. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get my paint out of the way and let's get this hat back here. Uh, we're going to do I Am a Creator with Magnolia. So we're going to just do a real quick stencil. So this is the fall minis um, and I'm just going to add that on just to add a little cute. Now I'm going to put it in a place that isn't on top of the dots and I'm just going to get a little bit of lint on it because these are sticky back but I've used it many times so I don't have to do a lot I'm just gonna place it in here and it's just gonna add that little bit of cute and I'm looking for my chalk paste which is right in front of my face yes we have 40 minutes to craft so that's why we keep going so I apologize that I can't answer all the questions. All right, peel this off. And you'll see how it just adds a little bit of cuteness. I've got that stencil I stuck in in water. It just adds a little bit. So if you can see that it's fall off, just added that right on top. Okay, let's start putting it together. So keep commenting. I'll do random act of kindness drawing at the end. Um, I'm also, if you pass me on sprinkle, um, 
I'm doing this as a giveaway. I'll draw tomorrow, so all the replays will also have a chance. Make sure you comment in here that you did, and please, you know, please do pass it on. Um, the random act of kindness drawing, so keep commenting. Our calendars, Julia sent them to me, one of my followers. So, all right, let's finish up this hat. We're going to just glue this on. And I'm gonna put it a little bit crooked just to, and it doesn't have to be straight across, just to add a little bit of cute on there. All right, so, and then I've got raffia here. Well, first let's do, I've got some burlap here also. I'm just gonna put a little touch of glue on and add just that, just a little bit of this burlap to add a little bit of cute. Is this hat looking cute? All right. Then also now we got to do some raffia. And I'm going to make the hair. So what I'm going to do is just fold it and just tie one side and that's going to be one side of the hair and hopefully we can give it get it the same yeah that's the stand like I said is in the Christmas department at Hobby Lobby okay let's take another and like I said we're just going to fold and this is going to be the hair I want it to be sort of similar to this one. And it's okay that some of this sticks out above because it'll go above the hat then. Okay, and we're just gonna tie that off. You know what I did? Actually, what I would have done normally, and I already glued that on, I should have put the hat on top of this. So, and then some of that sticks out it's all right. We'll do it behind and maybe we'll just, we'll do it a little bit so it'll stick out the side. I, I did my, when I was practicing, I had it when I was practicing, I had it out up where it would come up in here, but that's okay. Again, I'm sorry I'm not commenting. I definitely will check out after. Make sure after we're done here, you go out and check out Crafting with Denise. Um, she's following me in this event. Okay, got that. And we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do a big raffia bowl. Almost done. I'll get it, I'll get it. Okay, I like messy raffia. Um, and so I'm just gonna scrunch this up. All right, and then take another piece, tie it. Thanks, Nelda. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be going on this hat and we're gonna add a couple leaves on there. So these are from, this is Dollar Tree, I think, and this is Hobby Lobby, or maybe they're both Hobby Lobby. And I don't really want the bright ones. I'm just gonna pull off. Um, okay, these will pull off. Okay, I like these green ones. And let's pull off uh, one of these yellow orange ones. And then we're also gonna take some of these from this pick. Or maybe just one of them. And I'm going to just add these right on here. I think I'm going to cut them apart just so that they're on there. Let's see where my time is. Thanks, Paula. All right, I'm just going to cut these apart so that they'll lay flat. Okay, add that on. Add these on. And I'm gonna take another piece of raffia. I got raffia every here, everywhere here. Take that raffia and we're just gonna 
tie that on. It's messy raffia. Messy at the farm today. Thanks, Sally. I appreciate it. If y'all like what I do, please uh, hit that notification um, or send me a text so that I can notify you of when I go live. All right, so we've got the leaves. Now that I just pulled them out, put just a, whoops, grabbed the wrong thing. Put a little dab of glue down in there because I also like buttons. We're going to add on a cute little button on there. And we're also, we're gonna add this coming up out of the, out of the top of it. I keep wanting to grab my hair dryer. Like I said, I feel bad. Normally, if you're on live with me, my lives are a little bit longer, and I do chat some, but I chat while I'm crafting. So, thanks, Agnes. I appreciate it. You look great. Thanks, Mary Lou. All right, and then let's put, this was really, really hot. <laughs> I burn myself a lot. I actually do have one of my things here two that I could. I'm gonna cut some of these off. We're gonna place this up on the hat. Okay, so that's gonna be the hat and the hair. And we just need to add one more thing on here and then we'll glue that on and we're gonna be done. Like I said, I would normally embellish the face a little bit more. Okay. So just grab some more of this raffia. That's sort of short raffia there. Let's grab something longer. There we go. And we're gonna tie this around the base. Okay, and I need to look at it when I do that. Do you have a video doing the garland behind you? There is a video, Christine, on my Facebook page where I did that. So the, the leaves themselves were a garland already from, I'd like to I think I was Hobby Lobby um, in the fall department. But then I added on some of the um, embellishments in between. There were little buttons and fabric. Okay, is he cute? He's, isn't he cute? Told you he'd be cute. I'll trim up his hair in a second too, but yeah, he's gonna be cute. I always tell that to my husband. I said, isn't he cute? All right, I'm just looking at where I can put this. Looks better if you're not. Oh, Leanne, learn not to be perfect. Nope, you can't be perfect. You cannot be perfect. Especially on scarecrows, right? Nobody's perfect on anything. So it is what it is. Let's, we're gonna tilt the hat a little bit so we can see his cute face. I'm just adjusting him a little bit so you'll be able to see him. Stick on, I'll do random act of kindness drawings. And I have 300 on here, I'm doing three of them. Also, if you're past me on and you commented below, this is the drawing I'll do tomorrow um, cause I'll include replays on it. So I made this was my Magnolia. If you're interested in all in Magnolia, that was so easy and simple. I do some, some of my lives with that today. I just used a little bit. Um, but there, isn't it cute? I do have to do a little trimming. So you just play with that, get his hair out of his eyes and didn't he turn out cute? We'll trim a little here too. There. How do you like him? I think he turned out pretty dang cute. And this was an acorn from Dollar Tree. Um, this stand, let me show you again, was in the Christmas department at Hobby Lobby. And we used jumbo sticks. Um, so you can use regular popsicle sticks too. All right, let's do the random act of kindness drawing. Uh, we'll do three of them. Uh, first one, Rosie Dubenstein Zellner. Please private message me your mailing address. 
uh, Julie Conton, Conton, C O N T O N. Private message me your mailing address. I'll go back farther. All right, and Stacy Sly, S L I G H. Private message me your mailing address, and I'll get you guys happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. That's the deal that I make, okay? Um, also, this is for the drawing. If you pass me on, you're going to get this cute little pumpkin hanging. You can hang or put on a shelf. Um, you're going to be in the drawing for that. So, again, I'll draw tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, um, just so that if anybody's watching the replays, they'll be included. But you have to make sure you comment below here also that you did it because that's where I see it. Um, so, please do that. So... Here we go. Make sure again, um, go check out Crafting with Denise. She's right after in the Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. Y'all have a good one. Thanks so much for being on with me.